Welcome back to Scale Up Adventures and welcome to another how-to video. In today's video we'll be talking about a fishing rig that I love to use on the beach. Now there's nothing more frustrating than driving down to your local surf beach or even driving for hours to a local surf beach to turn up and see there's a massive swell, huge current and you just know that as soon as you cast out there all that water movement will just wash your bait straight back to your uh, back to shore. So I've got a solution for you guys that um, will require you using a star sinker. Now you can always use a star sinker. The problem with these is as soon as a fish grabs your line, it's gonna feel the, the weight of that sinker and you're not gonna catch as many fish. So we're gonna convert this sinker to be used as a sliding sinker rig. What that means is basically the fish won't feel the weight of this sinker. So how do we do that? Well, we start off like we would with any other, any other rig. Tie your, your line onto your hook and then onto a swivel. With beach fishing, swivels are, are, are essential. You don't want any line twist. Now, on your main line, you want to put on one of these Lumo beads. So I'll try and thread that through. That goes on there like so. I'll explain why a Lumo bead is really important. We then need to use one of these little slider rig clips. Now, if you've never used one of these before, they're a great little device for a little plastic barrel with a hole, hole through the middle of it and then it uh, connects to a clip. So you want to thread that on next. Now this is why the Lumo bead is uh, really important. Now you can imagine you're going to clip a great big sinker onto here and with that weight it's going to bang along that knot and damage that knot. So along comes a big fish and you're most likely going to lose it because you've uh, you've been fishing with this all day long and it's destroyed that knot. So that Lumo B will help cushion any of that impact onto that knot and just um, gives you a lot more chance of catching a fish. Now you want to put another Lumo bead on the other end, so one either side of that um, slider rig. I struggle with these threading through, there we go. And then we'll just finish that off with another swivel. Now you could go straight to your main line, but again, with beach fishing, uh, as many swivels as you can, because uh, you get a lot of line twist. Now I'm just using a uh, half blood knot here. If I can try and uh, thread that through. You can use any knot you like. I've got lots of knot videos on this channel, so if you want to go flick through it, there's a, there's a heap that you could use. But just use whatever you're more comfortable with. Let's clip that off. So there we have our little clip set up between two swivels. Now it's just a matter of um, unclipping it, grabbing your sinker and threading it on and then re-engaging that clip. The great thing about these is you've cast out now, that's, uh, that anchors itself onto the sand and that line will uh, thread, will uh, slide through that clip with no resistance. So your fish grabs your bait, takes off, there's not going to be any resistance until it hits that second swivel. By then, you're holding your rod and you've felt that and you've striked and you've uh, brought yourself in a great big fish. So, yeah, give them a go if you haven't found these in your local tackle shop. Normally you find them in red or blue. Grab yourself a little packet, they're pretty cheap and you just never know when you might need to use them. But yeah, on beach fishing, they're uh, super useful. You can also put a snapper lead as well on these if you're um, fishing in um, in a channel off a boat somewhere and you want to get down deep but yeah give it a go and uh, thanks for watching guys i hope you found this video helpful please remember to subscribe and leave me a comment if you have any questions thanks again bye